Yeah, last episode we were. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. That's better. Right, so yeah, in the last episode we were getting everything ready for phase two of the um, space elevator, which we've got everything we need now. Um, so we could probably get rid of all of these. So I don't think we need them anymore. It'll free up a bit of space up here. So let's just clear these off. So these are only put here temporary anyway. That's why we um, got shit done. There we go. Right. Let us head to the space elevator. And we can get that phase two done and out of the way. And on to more milestones, which I think is... You get one, two, three, four. Is it going to be five and six, I think, isn't it? I believe. Five and six is going to be involving plastics and oils and stuff, isn't it? Ugh. Right. Let's chuck these all in. So there's that, there's that, and there's that. Seal it up. Hey, Scando, how you doing, mate? Did you have a good holiday? I imagine you had a good holiday. You were out skiing, so. And it's gone. Excellent. Phase two complete. Of course you had a good holiday. Like I say, you're off skiing and shit. You can't not have a good holiday if you're off skiing. Five and six coming up. Okay, so what we got here then? Oil processing. We haven't got these being made or motors being made yet. So we're going to need to look into getting them done. These two shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> yeah, I already said why. <laughs> gas mask is rubber plastic and fabric alternative transport alternative fluid transport okay heavy modular frames there was a network error. what the hell oh there we go that's right my um it just went off my end i hope it didn't go off at everyone else's end um, tier 6, what we got there? Logistics Mark 4. We got the jetpack. Got monorail and pipeline engineering. Okay. Well, I think we need to start from here, really. Because we're going to need these. So, let's select that. And let's get the two things that we can get up and running. One of my classmates didn't have a great holiday skiing because he's now on crutches. Oh dear. That's not good. Well, no, I don't want all of them. Just have, um, I've got 200 there. Let's take another 200. Split it in half, put 100 back. Oh, I did it again. There we go. That's 500 of that. Oh, no. Say, so um... It just wasn't as good as me. <laughs> Not that you like to blow your own trumpet at all, mate. But you're an exceptional skier, are you? Okay. 
And then we need 500 of this. Okay, that's those two done. Right, so encased concrete beams. What do we need for that? Paste industrial beams. But it's still beams on concrete. Don't need an assembler. Nah, I just won the re race at the ski school. That doesn't help. <laughs> Hey, made the most of it, mate. So steel beams and concrete. We've got beams over here. Not many of them, but we do have some. What do we need? We need a hundred. Well, that's okay. I keep doing that. That's going to really bug me now. Take a hundred of that. Oh, actually. We need four hundred. Was fun though, I made a friend. Oh, that's always nice. If you can make a friend while on holiday. So we're gonna need two hundred, four hundred of them. And then five hundred concrete, yeah. Five hundred concrete. So, how long have you been back then? When did you get back from holiday? Build these back up again, aren't I? So let's go with. Assembler first. Aaron's stream's been last Thursday night. I got back. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, the streams are okay. It's slow, but it will always will be. But the streams are fine. Let's make that and then in this one we'll put them that one we'll put that we'll make them there Then put that there into there. My first school day today. Yeah, uh, a lot of um, my son went back to school today as well. So I think a lot of people have gone back to school today. It's um, it's that back to school day, isn't it? Let's chuck them in, whack that right up. So 15 a minute right now. Mo is it motors? Yeah, motors, isn't it? Um, 
Let's look for motors. So for motors, we need all oh, stators. We went through this last time, didn't we? Your worst day of the week. <laughs> ah, you love school, really. All kids love school. So we need 50 motors. So that means we're going to need 100 rotors and 100 stators. Stators. We need 300 pipes and 800 wire. Okay, right, let's get another one of these down then. Oh, you've got snow, have you? Nice. We haven't had snow here. It's tried to snow, but it hasn't snowed. That's too close. Yeah, it's tried to snow today. It's been like, I mean, when I say tried to snow, we're talking like proper small amounts of little bits of white falling out the sky, but nothing major whatsoever. It's going to make status. out of here to here just like so all right it's gone now oh that's a big waste of time then wasn't it um so we need 50 of these so i need 50 i need 100 staters so 300 pipes, 800 wire. 300 pipes, 800 wire. I wish it would snow here. I love the snow. Okay, so 300 pipes. Made the day worse. Three hundred pipes. Probably won't be very good for teaching people to drive in the uh, in the snow, but I do like the snow. Right, so we'll take a five hundred. Let's just take two of them. Uh, uh, do you know what? Let's just take that. That would be fine. That would be fine. Why have I got a hole in me wall? I didn't put a hole in my wall. Right, so in you will go the pipes. You will go the wire. Set up to make stators. Good, good. Let's chuck a load of these in. Whack you up. Suit you, sir. I will learn it the hard way. Well, at the end of the day, you've got to learn to drive in the snow at some point. So, why not do it when I'm around to be able to teach them? That's how I see it. Uh, so, yeah. The sooner they learn, the happier they'll be, because everyone should be happy driving in the snow. I think it's fantastic driving in the snow. Okay, they're nearly done. Excellent. This is going to take a bit of time, isn't it? Twelve and a half per minute. 
Yeah, it's going to take a bit of time. If only he was allowed to drive. Don't worry, mate. It will come around faster than you realise. Trust me, don't wish your life away. Right, what else have we got here? I'm um, not going to be able to do any of that. Yeah, we could put that in there, but 3,000, and we could probably put that in there, but apart from that, nothing. Next year, you'll probably do it anyway. But you know, I've already taken my son out for a, a driving lesson, and he was, what was it, last year? He was only 13 at the time. I just took him into a car park somewhere. He was fine. Completely empty. No one was at harm. Sort of thing you do. It's like a rite of passage. Driving your dad's car. Right, I need to be thinking of somewhere to start this oil process. Whee. Are we done? Oh shit, we are as well. Excellent. Right, so we got that 100 then. This is still going. 19, 20. Okay, fair enough. So we're going to need some oil, aren't we? From somewhere. I don't think we can search for it yet, can we? No, we can't. Okay. Fair enough. Right, let's get you set up ready for motors so we need 100 rotors is this the rotors it is the rotors so 100 rotors in there i right, shall so start getting some of these going through Always good. A little bit of experience on a bit of everything. Yay, motors. We just need 50 of them. That's good because it'll give you a good insight into you know what to expect when you go out in a car do you drive do you like over there do they do they drive manuals or do they, do they drive more automatics because i know there's quite a few places where they drive more automatics than they drive manuals but I don't know what the Netherlands is like regarding that. Both depends what you want. Yeah, it's a bit like here. Um, the UK's mainly been manual for a lot of the time, but recently there's been a huge surge in automatic cars, mainly because all obviously the electric and the uh, and the hybrid cars are automatics. So. Oh, I still teach manual. Everything will be automatic soon anyway. I need to learn both. Is it, I mean, I don't know how much you know about learning to drive over there, but over here, if you, if you learn in a manual car, then you can, um, you can just automatically drive an automatic car. 
you don't have to learn how to drive a manual and how to drive an automatic that's what it's like over here but if you if you if you learn in an automatic and pass your test in an automatic car then you can't drive a manual but yeah I don't know. I didn't know if it was the same over there or not. Only running at 60%. That's a bit piss poor, isn't it? Let's just take a load of this wire and chuck it in here. There we go. That should make it run a bit faster. It's going up now. That's better. Excellent. All right, what are we going in now? Another 30. That means I've taken out 60 now. So just another 40 to go in there. Uh, put them in there. Could just put them straight into here, really, couldn't I? 30 at a time. Let's take the rest of them out. Up straight into here. Sixteen. So what's the um what's the age limit for driving over there then? How old do you have to be to drive a car? Eighteen. Wow. It's a year older than over here. Yeah. You can learn to drive a car over here at 17. Or if you are disabled, then you can actually start at 16 over here. If you have certain disabilities, I can't remember what they are now. But yeah. So you can actually learn to drive at 16. I think it's only certain disabilities. It's not everything. But, yeah. Let's take that 20. It's 80. Another 20 to go. We're done. Oh, wrong button. Once this put out these stayers, it puts out 12 and a half a minute. That wants them at 12 and a half. No, this wants 25 a minute. Okay. Uh, can I just say I have a disability? <laughs> no, you couldn't say that at all. You would have to uh, prove it. So you would need to be getting some sort of disability allowance from the government. Um, to be able to get your license early from the licensing authority. But yeah, you can't just say, I've got a disability. <laughs> and I hope to be able to drive a car at 16. <laughs> but nice try. <laughs> no fun. No, it's almost like they've thought of everything, isn't it? To stop you getting away with having fun. Who would have thought it, eh?
<laughs> Who would have thought the government would have thought of everything? Can't even blow up stuff. <laughs> yeah, legally. You probably could blow stuff up, just not legally. There's me 50. Let's go. Good. Glad to hear it. That's very dangerous blowing shit up. I don't want to get my Twitch box. Oil acquisition and refining on yeah, probably a good thing. Oil-based products can now be made. The byproducts of oil refinement can be used after further processing, as seen in the refinery. Caution. This is a reminder to minimize the chance of expiration during out-of-base activities. Okay, so we can now make... Go and find oil. So, crude oil. Let's have a look see what we can find. Where's the oil around here? over there okay that's roughly where our mine is isn't it oh there's some more over there Ooh. this is closer i feel like we should go over here That was a hell to set up anyway. Google has caused me enough problems. I think they're done now, though. <laughs> have they have they stopped um, stopped causing you hassle now? Have they? Direct an icon, an oil icon. There we go. I'll give them a chance. I'm sure they'll do it again sometime. Right, let's go and have a look at this oil. I've already blocked two accounts. I think that's enough. <laughs> you never know. They might block another one for you. They might just be feeling really kind and think, do you know what? Let's block another one of his, his accounts. not kind that's rude <laughs> um it's my oil down there it is isn't it okay where are you oil it's this direction Ah, that looks like it. That looks like oil. One, two, three. Three patches of oil. And as the creatures start to fight each other. Oh, nicely done, spider. Unfortunately, Spider, I can't let you live. I've also learned that I have a pretty fun life. Some people just sit on Discord all day that I speak to. Yeah. 
that sometimes you don't realize how good your life is. Just one of those things. Right. So we have an oil patch here, normal. We have, let's get rid of you. We have a pure oil patch here. And where's the other one? Let's get rid of you. Oh, look at the spiders go. Let's get you in my hands. My life is good, school isn't. I'm not saying a job is better, I'm just saying school isn't good either. <laughs> Trust me, school is much better than a job, mate. Much, much better than a job. You will realise this one day. Just go around clearing out all the crap first. Depends how much you like your job. True. But I think even if you like your job, at some point it becomes a little bit tedious. It's like, I can't wait until I can do YouTube all the time. But I bet you there's going to be some days where it's going to be like, oh, I've got to do a video. Can't be asked. So like every job gets tedious at some point. Okay, another normal. So we've got normal, normal, and a pure. And a pure. Okay. That's cool. So on these, we're going to need to put a refinery. Refines. No, do we? Oil extractor. There we go. Normal extraction rates are 120 meters cubed per minute. Headlift of 10 meters. Allows fluids to be transported 10 meters upwards. Can be built on an oil node to extract crude oil. Extraction rates depend on node purity. Okay. So that is, is that the pure one? Yeah, that's the pure one. That's going to be 240, which is nice. Let's go and chuck one on there. This is just so I can remember where the hell they are. One on there. I think that's it. Have a good day, mate, and a good stream. Cheers, mate. I'll catch you later. Right, so the refinery. 
refinery refines fluid and or solid parts into other parts contains both a conveyor belt and a pipe input and output to allow automation of various recipes okay cool so then that will come that way around This is purely so I can see what does what. Um, we're going to need pipe, aren't we? So pipe to pipe. Let's have a look. Okay, so oil products. So we can have plastic. Two plastic and one heavy oil. Two plastic. Ah, that's what we want. So, make rubber and heavy oil. Or we can make two plastics and heavy oil residue. Or we can make fuel and polymer resin. Okay. So we need to build these, don't we? He's skating across the water. I think he is. He's just skating. Yep, he's just skating around. Not moving at all. So when do you start walking? Okay, you don't. You're just going to skate around everywhere, are you? Excellent. How about if I make you move faster? Yeah, now you start moving your legs, don't you? find out what those things are that we need and how we make them which I should have done while I was over at the space elevator but I was too busy thinking about coming back starting those milestones Okay, right, so we have versatile framework, which should be easy. We have modular engines, which I don't think we can make yet. And we have adaptive control units. I think these are quite hard. 
Modular engines. These we should be able to do quite easily. Excuse me. Thank you. So, modular engines. I'm sorry, that the frameworks. Should be able to get them going pretty much ASAP. We do need 2,500 of them though, which is a lot. Am I going to land on it? No, I'm going to miss it on her. Okay. Right, so if we look in here, first tile frameworks. We need one modular frame to 12 steel beams. We're not making modular frames, are we? Because modular frames get made in here. So we're going to need two and a half thousand modular frames. Damn. So for that, we need reinforced plate and iron rods. I think this needs its own production plant, doesn't it, to make modular frames. Okay. So screws are made from iron rods. So if we can try and get as many iron rods up and running. From. This. Which is a pure. So a pure. What's that? That's uh, iron isn't it? 120 a minute that's putting out so that will put out 120 a minute so at 120 a minute there's the iron rods it's there these want 15 a minute so if we go 120 divided by 15 that gives us eight. So we could get eight of these machines to one of these. Because this is one and one. So this would just do the same. And that's just 30, isn't it? That's 30. So 120 divided by 30 is four. So we'd need four of these to serve one of them. We get a miner down there. Let's just take this off. Thank you. And let's look at putting some bases down. Um, where are we going to want to put this? Should we put it up. Should we go up? Let's go for a four meter. Let's go vertical to begin with. Um, onto the world grid. Let's go up. We got one, two, three, four, five. Five sounds like a nice round number, doesn't it? Let's go up five. And then we can go back to our one meter one. And change that to Zoopy Boy. And 
And then we'll get rid of that, that, that. And that one. Right, let's just get on there. A oh, we could go Mark Two Minor. That means you put out even more. That means this beast is going to put out two hundred and forty. Ooh, that makes a difference. Right, let's get up there. Actually, saying that, can I put up a? Uh, a lookout tower. We get up that way. Cha-ching. Yeah, that's not going to be high enough, is it? We're going to need to go higher than that. If we're going to look at maybe doing it off here. We do it up here, do we think? Can't see any reason why not. Hmm. It's just uh Just chuck some of these out. The one thing I've realised with this game is you can go big. Everything doesn't have to stay small. Which is something I've sort of forgotten in this game. Right, so now we have 240 divided by 30, which is 8. So now we can fit in 8. Um, 8 smelters. So can we get 8 smelters across here? Let's chuck in another... Let's put another tower up here. Just so I can see what I'm doing. As I'm not flying. So can we fit eight smelters in here? Smelter. We need to leave enough room for uh, the belts and everything. We could just come up from underneath, couldn't we? Let's see what we can get going. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight smelters. So we could always take um, so some of these are going to well they're all going to be used for rods aren't they so they're going to put out 30 a minute so we're going to have two instructors per one of the, we might need to spread these out a bit more because we need two constructors per one of them Hmm. Or we could... No. So we 
going to need to put splitters in front of all of these, aren't we? Because they need to split off to two. These are going to be very, very close. Too close. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get anything out of them, are we? This is exactly what I was on about, about not going too small. Right. Let's get rid of them. Shall we We've got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I reckon if we get one per thingy. Smelter. So if we put what we got one two three five six seven eight nine ten eleven so one two three four five so that's halfway right one two three four five one two three four five yeah so this is half put that there put that there i'm still not 100 percent sure this is going to be enough Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need another one. Let's chuck it that end. And then we'll go for splitters. That's not quite centre, is it? Not that I'm fussy at all. That's better. And we sh uh, still have to see. I don't think we're going to get enough belts out of there. Because I'm going to want to come out like that, aren't I? Yeah, it's still not going to be big enough. Okay. Let's try. Oh, easy there, Tiger. Why are you doing them? You shouldn't be doing them. Okay, let's get rid of them. Actually, let's just get rid of you as well. So let's just place down one smelter right smack bang in the middle and then in front of that smelter we're going to need a conveyor a splitter sorry and then out of that splitter we're going to need two of these
to come up here. So that's how much space it's going to take up. That's roughly how much space it's going to take up. So to do that again, this one is going to have to be two away, isn't it? Like so. there that there no didn't want to do that press the wrong button okay so there's four of them let me get rid of this tree now tree all right so we have used up say so one two three four five six seven eight so we're gonna need another eight so one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight. And these are all going to have to go to a part. That one's going to need another line, isn't it? Like so. Let's get another line of these in. Okay, so that should be enough. Well, they went out a bit far, didn't they? 
Didn't need to put them out that far. Oh well, never mind. Probably all gonna need to be trimmed anyway. Okay. Let's now get in. I want to bring these up from below. Because I can. Now, why is that one yellow? It's going in the same place as them. Whoa. Oh, I've got to get back up there now. Oh, that's pretty cool. I can use them as ramps. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, cool. Um, can we chop that down from here? No, I can't. Bugger. Never mind. Put another one of them in there so I don't fall off again. And then we will go. So, 240 to begin with. It's going to have to be one of these, isn't it? Okay, and then actually, um, I don't want that. Go with that again. So we're going to come down one. from here please tell me I can You're not gonna let me do it are you yet oh so close Let's see if we can do it while I'm uh, parachuting That's not it. There it is. Uh. Yeah, you can sod off. Right, so you... Actually... Goodbye, tree. That one can go as well. Just so I can see what I'm doing. So we are going to need a splitter. Actually, we're going to need conveyor mounts, aren't we? But ceiling conveyor mounts. Going down the centre there. Now the thing is, am I going to be able to come out of here? So we're going to need to get in line with that. So we need to be on this this one here. Is it going to reach up to there? No, it's too steep. 
That's a bit of a pain. But to be expected, really. So, what I might be better off doing then is putting this miner that way round. Oh, no, that's not a good idea either, is it? about this way hmm. what about this way that might be a better way to do it might not it yeah let's do that more of them and then we'll go to that and we're going to need that to be that one now can we go from there up to there or is that still too steep it's still too steep isn't it Okay, how are we going to do this? And never tried to get anything up that high before. I guess we could bring it down. Can we do that with these? No. Oh, actually can put them on like that which is interesting so it will go up there like that okay oh jump too far there So from here, we get another one of these up, maybe halfway. Then can we go from that? No, that's not going to work, is it? Let me silly. Um, I think the only way we're going to get this done is by bringing these down, aren't we? We go on a vertical. Um, we'll go to the four meter one. Just come down to there. a half don't want a half um it's soup let's see what happens with that We're gonna have to get up there. Uh, foundation ramps. You like a good ramp. Right. 
Right, so can we get that up here? Oh, you twat. I don't want the conveyor pole, I want the bloody conveyor. So that will come up here. That pretty straight. It's not bad, is it? Okay, so we can get that up here. Good. So I think what we're going to have to do is just take all of them down. Bring them all down a bit lower. Now what we need is now we could put these in, can't we? I don't seem to be getting a green line. So just guesswork. <laughs> Why don't I get a green line from these? Makes it very difficult. I miss one. No. Okay, that should be all of that hooked up. So if 
I hook that up to power, uh, let's just put a power pole here. And there she blows. I should. Should be able to just run down the line. Hasty sets. No, that was copied. I don't want copied. Ugh. Do you know what? I can't be asked. Let's just do it this way. Right, so that should start putting stuff into these machines, should not go in there for starters. Does it would it start putting stuff in there? Even though it's got no no power to it. I would have expected it to start. Oh yeah, they're all ready, they're all primed, ready to go. All we need is power. And then to work out. Um, so we're going to want constructors, aren't we? It's not bloody good. I'm not going to line up with the belt. Give me a green line. Coming right up the centre there. Why won't you sit on the centre? This there, isn't it? So it's that centre line.
Nice. Okay, so that gives us one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So sixteen times fifteen, so it's two hundred and forty iron rods we've got coming out of here now. You know I ain't done. I ain't connected these up to the splitters. Okay, so 240 coming out of there, and we need, what are we doing? We're doing um, modular frames, aren't we? So we need, we're going to need plates as well. Forgot about the plates. Okay. That's okay. So plates come out at... Twenty a minute. So these come out faster than the rods anyway. So 12 lots of screws, six lots of plates to go into making reinforced iron plates. And we need three of them and 12 of them. Okay. So, let's just wipe this down here. Screws. So we need 10 coming in a minute to get 40. So we put two of these together, it gives us 30. So we could actually run three of these machines off of two of them. Three of these machines would give us 120 a minute. And we need 120, so it's 10, isn't it? Because we only need 12 a minute. So with three of these machines be enough. So if we have to put a merger in there. Out into a splitter.
I think if we run three. Three constructors from this. I don't think they'd all fit. They wouldn't. They'd have to go over there, wouldn't they? Because that's the one I'd have to line up with first, is that middle one. And then these would have to go one there. And the one there. Okay, so these are going to make screws. That's going to give me four, eight, twelve. So this could give me 120 screws a minute. So on top of the 120 screws a minute, I also need six plates a minute. Which is easy. I should be able to do that for one, shouldn't I? Now we're going to need 12 of them a minute, which again is just one machine, isn't it? So these two here should be able to do the rest of that. That's going to put out, okay, so that's going to put out one a minute, so. We use that one there. So we're going to merge these three. see any reason why not close so you are now going to be making iron plate Sorry, trees, you're just getting in the way now. But I've got to do you from down here, haven't I? Oh, 
That's better. Right, let's think. Has anyone actually guessed that maths is not my strong point here? <laughs> so, modular frames. We are actually going for the right thing, aren't we? Modular frames. I believe so. Right, so we need three of these per minute to go in. But we should be able to make... So we need six plates and 12 screws. And we've got 120. 120 screws coming out? 4, 8, 12, yeah. So we've got 128 screws coming. 120 screws coming out. And we need 12. So what's 120 divided by 12? Add. Okay, of course it is, idiot. But then we also want... Six plates. So each one of these will put out... 20 plates a minute. 20 plates a minute. So 20 divided by 6 is 333. Three, three. But if we had two of them, so if we have 40 divided by 6, that's 666. Six, six. Okay. So 6, ooh, no. So if we had 60 currents, so we had three of these machines making plates going into a thing So now with that and that, we've got enough to power 10 constructors. Don't need constructors, do we want assemblers? So we should have enough there to put down 10 assemblers. For them to yeah that's a lot of assemblers so one assembler is roughly that um who's going to be the middle about here this one Three. But then we're going to need to um, 
split it all up, aren't we? Okay. <laughs> this is getting very complicated. So six iron plate, 12 screws. I guess just the general manifold's gonna be the thing to do, isn't it? Quite sure how I'm going to get this working yet. I'm probably going way over the top. Oh, right, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Eight. That's not going to go because of that. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. I'm going to put another one at this end. So how the bloody hell am I going to hook all of these up? Um, yes. We could do one up, one over, couldn't we? So this is going to have... for six so this is gonna have 60 coming out of it which is good for a one belt okay so that'd be good for that as well so let's do that And then what we'll do... <laughs> I haven't got a clue what we'll do. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking... We put one of these here. And then another one on top. And then another one there. Another one on top. I don't know how far these will stretch with belts.
Then can we get a splitter to line up with that? Or is it going to be too close? Is that going to work? Bloody hope so. Now we need to bring this over here. What if I get stronger? What if I get stronger? Oh, out there quite nicely. Okay, so that'll be the plate. So next. We'll have. The other bits. Coming in from this way. Hopefully. Again, this should be all right. A one belt, shouldn't it? I hope. Might not be. I might have to upgrade these. Right, let us go to the back here. These are going to make reinforced iron plates. Okay. I 
I really don't know if this is good. I guess I should start to power some of these on just to make sure they actually work. Um, yes, let's... Uh, How many of these are we using? We're not using many, are we? Is that enough? Because we're only using up to here, aren't we? So really, I only need two of these powered on. These get split, don't they? So it's putting out 30, but these are only getting 15 each. Ah, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, that's all right. That needs 15. Right, power. Let's put one in the middle. Let's go this side. Right here. That's those two. Okay. Let's put a power pole there. Okay, so more power. Oh, we haven't connected this up yet, have we? So this is going to have to go all the way up there. And somehow it's not going to be able to do because it's too bloody close shit have to move this over a bit let's come over to here then come up here I, I could have already just got in there couldn't I oh well never mind 
Never mind. How many is this dealing with again? This is dealing with 120, so this will need to be faster, won't it? This will need to be a Mark II belt. Why's that got stuck? The hell? Why is it getting stuck there? Do you know what? Sod it. Sod ya. And let's do that. Oh, I want the belt. Of course, this can't go in there, can it? No. Okay, that works now. Good, good. All right, now we need power up for these. that power pole move it there let's put one there
Okay. Whoa, that was too far. We need some way of getting all of these out now, don't we? So Okay, something's wrong. Oh, you know what I haven't done, don't you? I have to take all these off, aren't I? Because I put all these on. And, uh, yeah, they weren't. That should work now. That one's working. There's a bonus. This one's working. This one's working. Okay, they will start working. They will start working. Right, so we need to... We need to merge these, don't we? These are going to be putting out five a minute. So mark one belt should be absolutely plenty. And there we have it, reinforced plates being made. So 
they for now gonna go to there Okay. So we have got five a minute, ten machines. We have fifty a minute being made of them. And we need three a minute. <laughs> oh god. And we won't even be able to um because three won't go into that, will it? Sixteen. 16.6 okay that's all right we can have some left over so if we do 16 machines we're gonna need 12 so we're gonna need 16 times 12 100 what no that's what I'm going to need, is it? I'm going to need 192 rods if I put out 16 machines. What are we waiting for here? How are these machines running? Slowly. for six but this is putting out 60 a minute so why okay is that better for you halves what are you running at you're only running at 50 percent why are you going so slow Don't understand. Where's the hold up? Is it really that that's giving us a hold up? Does it not like the turn or the incline? You're not getting your screws. You're not getting your plates. Whoa, too far.
You're running at 50 percent. Be up you. You're going to be putting out 60 now. You're going to be putting out 60. Not that you need to put out 60. You're already running at 50%. I should start running better. That's not running at all. I don't need that. <laughs> 53. 57. You've got up to 200%, so you should start catching up. running at 200% right 60 a minute these only need to be 15 a minute don't they yes these are running at 100% good it should mean these are running at 100%. Excellent. Yes, it's just going to take some time. Seventy percent, seventy three percent, seventy two percent. Right, they're catching up. waiting for something on right well anyway that's going to be the end of that one i think um because it's coming to the end of the night now obviously next time we're going to need to continue that on hopefully these will catch up i think it's because it's the manifold system um i'm hoping it's because it's the manifold system and because i've gone coming in at different ends none of them seem to be merging maybe i would have been better off having them both coming in at the same end might make things a little bit easier because obviously these ones are filling up with screws but not filling up with plates and those ones are filling up with plates but they're not filling up with screws so sooner or later they're going to meet in the middle and then everything should start see this one's starting to flicker oh they're all flickering so there are some green ones going on but not as much as i would have hoped so we'll have to see how it goes um next time obviously we need to finish off and work out how many of these assemblers we're going to put down to make 
this lot. Um, how many we can get from it. So we're getting out. We should be getting out 50. 50 frames a minute. Uh, 50 plates a minute. We should. Once it all catches up, that's what we should be putting out. Um, of course, the other option is to make it all come up from underneath, isn't it? Or some of it come up from underneath, some of it come up from... There's still going to be a manifold system, though, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. I'm new to this, all right? <laughs> well, I'll say I'm new to it. It's been a few years. Um... So yeah, 50 of them coming out a minute. Uh, we need to work out how many we're going to put into our modular frames. Because um, we only need three a minute. So 16, another 16 machines maybe. Chucking out modular frames. But I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, until then, thank you very much for watching guys. And uh, I will be streaming again on Wednesday. Uh, which will be Space Engineers carrying on a little Space Engineers escapade and seeing if we can do a bit better at Space Engineers than we can at Satisfactory. But yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. And I will catch you all later.